travel plans. And we made it up. Hold on. And we made it. <laughs> you not took yours off. I guess. <laughs> and so we're currently in Singapore. We have a long layover. So we're going to show you how Singapore Airport looks. So the Singapore Airport is one of the best airports I personally so far have ever been to. I've been to a lot of countries, at least 15. Singapore, out of all of those airports I've been to, all airports I've done layovers in, and I haven't even counted like layovers, you know what I mean, as the countries I've visited. No one has topped Singapore. Singapore Airport. It's Number one is so clean. I feel comfortable walking around barefooted. Been in a bougie shopping mall and a bougie five-star hotel and i don't know it's hard to explain like literally they have like a hotel they're very nice it's all bougie mm -hmm. manicured they have a game a game room game areas not even entertainment just areas like they literally have a free movie theater yeah no a real movie theater a real movie theater <laughs> like you literally go in there and you can watch movies during your layover. So if you have those mm -hmm. long five hours, six hours, some people even may have a ten or more hour layover, you can go and watch movies for free. Free. Cause as you walk out, you got the games, and it has like um, the Kinect and the Xbox and the PlayStation. They have the, um, the the PC games that people like to play. You can get free foot massages. You can pay for a massage, which is at the hotels. Um, and they have a swimming pool at the hotels as well. Um, but you know, like, why everyone took a nap and went to sleep? I wouldn't got my feet massaged. There's a lot of chairs to sit around, but a lot of lounges where people can actually, like, lay down with climb and go to sleep. People were very rested. They, they were very comfortable. They felt like they were home. They have Burberry with coat. I don't know if I've seen a Michael Kors, but I know I've seen the Hermes. Mm -hmm. There's a Michael Kors. Balenciaga. Mm -hmm. I'm talking name brand, name mm -hmm. brand shopping every year. So I was like, I seen Alexis car in the middle of the floor. Now the stores stay open until one o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. and then they close down. I was like, who comes so, to the airport and buys Balenciaga? So I just want to suggest to you, if you're here, that you definitely want to find your spot in the lounging areas. Um, there's tons of chairs, but they also have like the reclining chairs. And once the shops close down, you're not gonna find it. They you go to lay down. Mm -hmm. And when they go lay down, it's a wrap. They're not getting up. Places to eat, lots of local places, lots of, mm -hmm. you know, some McDonald's. Subway. I think the KFC, everybody has to There's even, you know, if, if it's too high for your budget, mm, as far as the eatery, you can go to the 7 Eleven, get you a cup of noodles for like one Singapore dollar. You have to have Singapore um, dollars in the They have a money exchange, so whatever. Like the McDonald's is dope. You go up to the kiosk machine, you order what you want, and then you take the if receipt. If you have a car, you counter. pay right at the kiosk. So, you guys, we made it to Bangkok, Thailand. Right in and went to Dao San Road, the infamous road for Pad Thai, mango, sticky rice, and scorpions. Out on Khao San Road, the infamous road. backpacker um, scene here in Bangkok, Thailand. Um, they already get on my nerves. So I'm right. kidding, like, no, no. three people are that I want to go to the floor market. I already said no. And, I think they get commission because they keep tapping me with stuff and flies flying around. Right, right. Moment of truth. Yo, yo, what's going on, Carolina Travel Queens? I'm tired, but I'm going to hit y'all up real quick. Had a long day, um, so I'm about to try slurping really, really quick. Doing the, the turkey thing, yeah. <laughs> she came in here bothering me, wanting me to try a scorpion, and I'm 
stop trying to just uh, disappear right so now. We got it off the street on Cassine Road. For an arm and three legs. But, uh, we, couldn't, we couldn't sit up there and even attempt to enjoy it and record at the same time because we had a million people. I think she gringo me, but okay. A million people walking up to us. Cat's not about crazy. Yeah, it was crazy. So we decided to bring it back in there, right? So here it is. Like nothing, just very crunchy. Mm -hmm. Dude, I'm supposed to eat blow? it now, like do we break it like a rabbit or something like this? Mm -hmm. weird. Should be weird. Nobody should do that at all. It tastes like burnt chicken. Like if you ever had chicken um overcooked, over fried. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um no it just tastes like grease and mm -hmm. just old chicken like old yeah. just put it in your mouth you so excellent <laughs> <laughs> ew uh uh <laughs> that's it okay go ahead and bite this man ew yeah. it's just all for the fat because um, I don't see how you man I want my money back she started out charging us Two hundred fifty for this thing. Uh uh, I can't. It's very hard. It's very crunchy. It's like you eating fried plastic. We started out charging us disgusting pizza spots. So we like nah. What? She I could get a pizza. Went down all the way down to a hundred bots for this scorpion. And I think I still got gringo. Yeah, yeah. A hundred sure bots. I could have got elephant pants. I could have got a bag. I could have got pad thai about like three meals, yeah. times. If you if you're interested in just doing the touristy thing, then try it. But if not, if it doesn't matter, I haven't seen many locals selling um scorpions. So no, we live in the local area. Only the tourists are doing they do it. Meal, meal worms. They don't do tarantulas and scorpions. I'm not doing that either. Uh -huh. so. But uh yeah, so this is just a little little quick one tasting that this there's no better way to end the evening than an all-you-can-eat seafood buffet. Everything is so fresh. Um, your prawns are literally swimming around. And it's about 459 to 499 bots. It has everything. All different kinds of seafood, clams, oysters, um, snails. Literally, they have um, everything. They give you a grill to actually cook it at your table. Literally, the legs are still moving. Um, make sure you ice down the um, seafood before you placing it on the grill. Drinks, popsicles, everything. It's delicious. Absolutely amazing. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.